Hey guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to review Todoist and I'm going to share with you all the important things that you need to know about it, if it's actually worth using or no. So the first thing is that it's pretty intuitive too. What I like is that it's simple and effective and primarily that I like is that it also works across platforms. So I have Android, Samsung and I can use it on PC and then I can open it with the app and it works flawlessly and well. So this is something that I like. So here in Todoist how it works that on the left side you're gonna find search inbox, like what are the things that I have to do today upcoming tasks and you are going to find the filters and labels and then you are going to find the projects here so i'll just show you the the example that i'm using it for you have option to add a project or you can browse various templates like project tracking or you can like close it like this and then when you're going to have a project you have option to switch between the list view or the board view and here, as you can see that I like to use it in board view because it, these are like in my own language, the Pondelok Utorok Strada, I like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday, Sturtok, Piatok. And this is just simple for me, right? Is that I just have a task here and I'm just going to move it for, okay, these are the things that I'm preparing and these are the videos that I want to do for Monday. And then when it's finished, I just like do it like this. I'm in a simple business. I don't need much complexity. And here, when I'm going to like open it, you're going to find that you have option to write a description for it. You can even add a subtask. So that's the option that you have. And you see that I can change this because these are for the upgraded. But you have the option to change the due date you have here. Also the priority and adding the reminder. So those things are, are what you can do. So due date tomorrow, changing the priority have reminders so you can move it to. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Now when you're going to come here, you have also option, as I mentioned, to have it as a list view and then you're going to have the calendar. So, but for the calendar layout and for other things, here like the custom reminders, task durations, projects, filters, unlimited activity history, for that you need to have like the paid plan, but still, for a, like a simple and effective project management that you want to have it also across platforms it's good it's like really good then you're gonna have also option uh, to find the activity log where you would find what was actually happening on the project you have also option to to invite people to your team like add a team and then you're gonna have a settings here where you're gonna find integration so you have also option to uh, connect with Automate IO, Zapier here, that's good, Google Calendar. And you have also option to change the theme to dark. So that's a nice bonus. So for me, uh, that's like the most important things that you need to know about it from my own perspective, of course. And I, it's like, it's okay. Now, Tick Tick, from my own experience, offers more things. So I'll just show you here because I have it open. You're gonna have find Pomodoro technique. We're gonna have habit tracker. That's something that I don't see here uh, with Todoist. So also here with the, if you're like thinking between, between those two, when I'm going to open a task and this is like comparing three, three versions, all right? And you're gonna find the tasks here in Tick Tick. I can click here and write slash and you can find all these options. This is similar to Notion heading, bulleted list, numbered list, check item, quote, horizontal attachment, subtask tag. Here in Zoho CRM, and no, sorry, to, to do is when I'm going to write slash, I don't have it. So you see right here that uh, it's like, it's simple, but maybe you're gonna like that. So that's from my own perspective, how I perceive it and how I personally do it. Now, what helps me also, maybe that's going to help you, is that I write it also on a paper. That helps me a lot. That in the evening, when I know there are like things that I have to do for the next day, I write it on paper like, okay, these are the things I have to do. These are the things that I have to do. And I just write them down, write them down, write them down. And then in the morning, I see that, okay, I'm going to start with this. And I move on, just focusing on one thing at a time. And primarily, the biggest benefit, two things, is to actually like focus on things that I actually enjoy doing. This is also important because if I'm going, if I have to create videos that I don't like to do at all, it's bad. It's like, it's really bad. But if I'm going to, let's say, create things that I actually like, that then it's even, even the work is more easier. 
easier, right? And the second thing is to limit the chip dopamine as much as possible and don't let anything to actually like let the release of the chip dopamine. Because in the moment when I get the release of chip dopamine, then I'm less motivated to work. Because in the morning, in the morning when I would like watch a TV show or like listen to some good music, I would get, I wouldn't be so productive. But when I'm just like focus on the work, focus on the work one step at a time, then in like two, three hours, I can get so much done. But there is this saying like lock in, right? And I see that's like more and more important because like I don't really need to consume. That's what I found out. But primarily just doing things that I actually like to do. That helps a lot. I don't know how you have it, but just like, you know, I like doing it. Therefore I do it. So for example, I really like doing reviews of, of things. And I do that. And in the next few months, I want to start a new project that I would like, and I'm going to do it. So you want to do the things that is like, that are good and provide value. But there is also a different thing when something is like challenging, right? Is that when like something is challenging that needs to be faced, this is a completely different thing because there can be a resistance to go, oh, I'm not going to do it. For example, my girlfriend wants, I never ski, right? I never went skiing, my, like maybe one time in my life and I didn't like it. And I have two kids, two step kids, and my girlfriend want, want the step kids and also me come to skiing. She's good, she's good on ski, right? Yeah, I'm scared, man. Super scared. But it's a challenge, right? To go on it. It's a lot of courage right there with skiing. I would be much easier to, I don't know, have a business call with someone important or just like focus on these are comfortable right now so to set up a camera have a business call you know take care of the things making money it's easy like going into the uncomfortable zone like oi oi that's sometimes more dangerous but more more growing potential right there that is my experience so thank you very much for watching i hope this video provided a little bit of value about to do is if you feel like it use it you're not going to like make a mistake but just primarily just be aware that it's kind of like not so so complex comparing to maybe other tools it's simple but good but simple so thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye